Okay, in this video I'm going to be making some quote-unquote sick beats in LMMS, which once stood for Linux Multimedia Studio. Although it is cross-platform, of course, free software, uh, you can run it on anything, really, any computer system. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I'm using a Debian-based system, so I have an ancient-looking version of this, but everything basically works exactly the same. I could have used backports to install a more recent version, but this will work just fine. Uh, if you install it from the binary or on another system, it will probably look much more polished, I guess. But anyway, right off the bat, it starts with the triple oscillator, which is a synth. This is probably quite quiet right now because I'm going to be making things a lot louder. But uh, you can like change uh, things to be like different wave shapes or whatever. Uh, the default sine wave is obviously much quieter. You can put in sample tracks. I've never used that, so I'm going to remove it, at least for now. There's beat and bass line. You can just make rhythmic things by uh, arranging different patterns. You can use instruments, sound files, etc. And there's also an automation track. Um, I'm going to move that to the top, keep it out of the way. And if you click on it, left click, uh, that makes like a uh, item for that. And then you drag the item you want to automate. First, I'm actually going to change the BPM. Let's uh, actually sound it out. I'm going to be making something pretty high tempo. So um, let's click here to open the beat and bass line. Uh, and let's just put a few of these down. I'll make it a bit louder. Um, and yeah, that's too slow. 175. What if we do every other? Let's make it faster. 240. Let's do 275. Mm, yes, lovely. Now, uh, as, whoops, that's the piano roll. As I mentioned, uh, I am putting, if you, whoops, that's not what you want to do. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn on screen key. No, never mind. You want to do control and left click and you drag the item into here so now if i want i can make it like increase in bpm or anything i just have it here so when it starts it will start with this bpm and i can change it later down the line um so now let's get a good kick uh the default kicker will work fine um this is what i norm just just watch. Uh, I'm going to make it a gabber style kick, which is basically just a simple distorted drum uh, on the low end. If we... I, I should be explaining this. You open it up and it shows plugin, and that's all the default uh, modifications you can make. If you click funk or, I mean, the FX for effects, uh, you can add an effect and we're going to do Wave Shaper, uh, and then let's just play this so you can see a change. Then you want to go here, and around the left you want that to be elevated, and that'll make a much more distorted sound, uh, and that should be good. Um, now the way this works, it's an FX chain, so um, it will apply them in the order that they are added. Uh, so we can also do like an equalizer. Um, is this? Never mind. I'm just going to use the first one. It just has a bunch of frequencies and you can control them. But 
I may actually want to use a different kick. If you go to uh, the third icon from the side panel, it has the default samples. And if you go drums, there are some nice kicks. I quite like this one, so I'm going to go with this. And let's do the same Gabber style distortion with the wave shaper. Mm, what a nice drum kick. Uh, you can also mess with the input gain as well as the output, which will just make it louder. And if you want to be really crazy, you can just make some like different variations and whatnot. Um, so yeah, let's call this first beat baseline one, two, three, four, because it's just four on the floor. Uh, actually, I want to, first of all, it must be mentioned, uh, the way LMS works, it's like a bunch of different windows. It'd be really nice if they had like a tiling window function, but they don't. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to haphazardly drag a bunch of relevant things and so they're visible. Um, so we're using kick01.ogg, and let's just reset that, and this should be good. If you are just in the beat and baseline editor, uh, and you press play, that will repeat that one loop until you stop it. In case you couldn't tell, I'm using the spacebar to start and stop things. And if you do it here, I'll just play the entire arrangement. Um, so, now let's make a varied uh, pattern. Let's just do uh, that slight variation at the end. Now, since it's such a high BPM, the sounds are sort of running into one another. So you can use right click to... Actually, you can in the newer LMS. On this, I think you have to get rid of them here. Then you can open a piano roll. Um, and you can set down a note. I think it does it at C by default. I like the idea that you can just do like melodic drums. Maybe we'll do that a bit in this video. Uh, but then you can just arrange these to be the perfect length and cut off exactly when you want. Uh, yeah, I accidentally made these take up four measures um, instead of like quarter notes. Uh, yeah, I think you just want to fit within that one right there. But you can do longer patterns if you want, if you plan on reusing them or something. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, yes. Yeah. So make the last two half sets. Very nice. Uh, it seems like it actually was a different pitch. I mean, I make sure in the piano roll. Okay, you actually want it to be this uh, A note. So I'm going to lower the other ones to be the same. You can do Control A to select all and just drag it down. Okay, so now, um, let's make a simple melody, I guess. Uh, I am by no means a professional at doing this or anything, so make sure 
you can apply your own judgment when making these sort of things. Uh, I guess I'm sh I'm not really good at producing music or using LNMS, so I'm just showing you the basics of both, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, open the piano roll. Um, I'll make this full screen. Now, let's do this in a C major chord, which should be a basic, quote-unquote, happy chord. This is just all the white notes, uh, where all the, it basically revolves around the C notes, which are all marked here, but they're just to the left slash beneath the two black notes. Uh, let's start in a fairly high octave, C7, and let's just start with, um, these quarter, eight, no, eighth note sizes. Um, there's, like, specifics about half steps and whole steps and whatnot. I'm not going to get too much into that. You can mostly just mess around until it sounds good. Sometimes there will be, like, different intervals that, uh, should be advised against. But, like, a, uh, I think it's a perfect fifth is seven half steps where each of these steps up is a half step. That generally sounds pretty good. So you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's in our key we're using. And uh, it's a fairly nice um, interval. Now if you have these over one another, that creates what's known to some guitarists as power chords. And if you want, you can uh, just do that. Sometimes I'll create a melody, and then I'll just copy it and put the put it in a perfect fifth above. And even though that it technically goes out of key, it uh, sometimes makes it sound nice. So I will now just do a basic. Um, Let's do that, and then we can have it go down. Nope, that's out of key. We can just have it go to the next one in key. Then one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a nice pattern right there. Uh, then we can have it go back, go down a bit, go back to... Actually, I'm not going to go back there yet. When you uh, go back to the main note in the uh, key, it creates resolution, and there are some other notes that will create tension, and like, what makes it sound good is resolving the tension. But the tension can create buildup and whatnot. Let's have it go down a bit more. Then. And... We can have a resolve on the next measure. So for now, let's do that. And there. Sounds a bit wacky here, but um, it's. I think that's pretty alright. Now we can have it. We can use some different sizes here. We can make a longer C. Uh, maybe we'll get really quirky and do some, uh, out-of-key notes just by doing the black notes here. Uh, it might make it sound weird, but some people like the dissonance, and considering we're using distorted drums, we might as well. And then we might as well have it resolve on C again, and have some stutter right there with nothing in between. Yeah, it sounds kind of weird, but, uh, I kind of like it. <laughs> Maybe we can arrange it like this. Yeah, and then we can have it start at C again in the next measure. Then we can do a quarter note. Then let's... Actually, 
I'll sort of do a, um, what might be considered a key swap. I forget what they actually call this. And we'll do A minor, which is a quote-unquote sad scale. Uh, it's all the white notes as well, but um, it focuses around this note right here, which is two uh, white keys before the C. Um, so yeah, actually let's have it not even start on C, we can have it start here, and then let's just make it sort of hover around the A note right there. we want to go back to A, we might as well use that for the rest of the uh, measure. And we're just going to do four measures for now, probably just have them repeat. Uh, no, that's not A. This is A. So I'm actually going to move this. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to do. And have it begin at A in this measure. Then we might as well just have it go back and forth to a that that there let's see how that sounds okay I think that's pretty good um, so now, let's see how this all sounds together for now. Uh, let's, I'm gonna turn this up on my side. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. So, um, we can just keep, we can copy this twice. You can right click on this, copy click here to make like a place to copy it to and then paste. So what else do people do when uh, making a song? Hmm. Uh, we can make some more variation to the drum pattern. Hmm. that and it, there is some distortion between these but uh, it's a stylistic choice also then we can do that 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 okay sure that oh whoops wrong ones we can do this here, this here, then we can paste our melody. Okay, great. So now, uh, how about we, uh, Music making is a bit complex. Uh, I'm going to copy this again. However, I'm going to have it uh, cut off halfway through. 
and then I'll... This isn't like... This is a very specific type of music. Um, normally, you wouldn't uh, do this type of thing. But I'll have it cut off, and then I'll make a harmonicized drum thingy kick in uh, right there. So, yeah, actually we're gonna have to make another uh, thing from scratch. You can duplicate that, but then I'll make it twice as loud everywhere, and that's just a pan. So let's take this right here. Then, wave shaper. Let's just put in the pattern we want real quick. Okay. Then, let's do some harmonics. Uh, let's try the sixth harmonic. That sounds terrible. Um, let's actually try turning this down a little, maybe. The volume on LMS is... It doesn't seem like actual volume. It might be better just to just let out, but... Ah, uh, that's not horrible. Sounds like it's quick. Oh, I know why it'd be clipping. Let's uh, get rid of all these. And then let's put them in on actual proper uh, sound intervals. That uh, half tempo. Or twice the length, I guess. So now, let's try adjusting the harmonics. Let's just do the sudden. Quick notes. Uh, when you're actually composing music uh, in a DAW, aka digital audio workstation like this, and you actually want the sound good, uh, and you're trying to balance out uh, and mix the sounds to uh, make them like the correct levels and stuff, do not turn up the volume, because that will make like clipping and stuff. What you're actually supposed to do is turn down the parts that are too loud, uh, and not turn it up so it's, uh, you know. But, uh, given the style of this, I think it's sort of justified. Um, and now let's add another wave shaker. Beautiful. So now let's just add it here. And then I... Let's uh, do a copy here. Paste. And then I'm going to select all and move it up four steps. Okay. And then we might as well... Let's do some fancy stuff here. Let's have an automation track. Uh, let's synchronize it. I may call this one this for distorted. Then uh, let's do pitch. Um, then we can add this here and drag the pitch shift dial. Have it at the proper one. Um, and I'm actually just going to do a second one with which we will set it up a bit higher. I'm sure there's a way, an actual like harmonic way to get what I'm wanting, 
but I'm just going to do this. So, let's see how that sounds. Okay, it's a bit, uh, strange, but also kind of cool. Let's make, like, a simplified drum beat so it's not completely silent, silent under the melody. Um, hmm. Let's just start a new one. Is kicker distorted at all? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, let's just... Let's delete kicker. We never use it. And then we can drag in a new one. We can do like a slow tempo right there. Uh, do gain. Make it loud and audible. The noise is not helping them. Yeah, sure. Why not? We can include the built-in distortion for that. And okay, I sort of like the way it makes the um melody sort of inaudible between drum beats. Uh, but also, like, I don't know, you've got, uh, mixing frequencies there, and that's why it's doing that, so you could equalize it to make it more audible. First, I'm just going to try decreasing the length to see if that helps anything. Uh, at that point, they're hardly even drum kicks. How about a hundred something? No effect. That's kind of cool, but let's turn down the gain a little. Uh, I'm actually going to apply a... Oh, I meant to say, with uh, triple oscillator I left on the square note, but we can try different uh, like wave types. And being a triple oscillator, it lets you combine wave types. Um, but I usually focus on one. I think that one might sound cooler. So uh, right there, I just uh, switched it to use a sawtooth um, type thingy mixed with a triangle wave and a square wave. And since squares are normally louder, I turned it down a bit uh, in the mix. But I think that's good. So now, I don't know, let's make a build-up section. Uh, we might as well... Like, we're not even focusing on the key anymore. I hope this doesn't uh, bother anyone who actually cares about music theory. Uh, is this even from uh, this? This may have been from the last session. I'm going to copy this here. And let's move it up uh, seven steps to do a perfect fit. And let's just copy it for a few uh, beats. Uh, these aren't beats, measures. Um, and now. Let's, uh, 
We'll make it into. <laughs> oh yes, build up thing. So we might as well. Let's make another um, right here. Okay. Uh, we can use this basically. I'm not even naming these anymore, but that might be good for organization and whatnot. Then, oh yeah, equalizer on this. I'm being very scatterbrained in doing this, but that's fine, I guess. So let's search EQ, and let's just go in an isolated environment for these. And let's play around to see if it sounds good. For some reason, I often make the melodies focus on the mid-range. Uh, maybe because I don't want them to be too piercingly treble-based, or to be uh, too far on the low end, since that's where I tend to focus the kicks. Mm. So now I want to... I'm actually, for like sense, sensible reasons, I'm going to move this, rename it to 1, 2, uh, then we'll have the 1, 2, 3, 4 right after. Uh, you probably see where this is going, it's just a basic build up where it like doubles in tempo each time. Uh, then let's do this one, I don't think I've made one of these. I'll call this one through eight, I guess. Uh, then we'll make one where it just fills up all of them. And so it doesn't sound too bad, I'll actually do it in piano roll this time. I'll call this one 1 through 16. Let's make sure that it sounds correct. Okay, we actually want twice the tempo for that. So, I'll select all. I will decrease all of those to half, then I'll copy it, move over one, and that should be good. But let's delete that accidental one. Good. Okay. copy the melody. I'll do another triple oscillator that will sound a bit different. That should be fine. 
and then we can add a uh, one of these things. I think this will sound good for the build up section. And all we need is just one note. And <coughs> let's. Uh, yeah, actually. C5. Zoom out. And stretch this until you can see it covering all five of those measures. And now we'll add another automation track here. Then we can use some pitch shift and put that here and then simply have it increase through its duration uh, using this uh, linear progression. Although, we actually want it to quote-unquote drop at this point. Let's make some kicks for after this part. We we can actually find a different drum sample for this. Let's use four. It's basically the same, but why not? And maybe we should change the BPM after this but I will not do that for now. So, as we have been doing, let's, let's play this, and then go into Wave Shaper. And we want lots of strange oscillations this time. Uh, we may also want to cut these off for the proper ascent. Notice in here you can see the length with all its milliseconds and whatnot. If you want, you can cut it off or make it start at different parts, which can be useful. Uh, and then after this, let's go to the equalizer. And I'm going to make this a terracore style uh, kick. So basically, the main thing you want the 1000 or er, yes, 1000 hertz quite high, and then you have one high base and treble, everything else can basically go down. I'll make the base low as well. That should be good. Although, we probably want a faster speed than this. So let's do what I did earlier. I wonder if harmonics would sound good with this. Let's find out. sound like itself. 
Um, so, how about we, um, let's go into the equalizer again and just make some precision. doesn't sound distorted at all. Um, so, let's just uh, do that. Maybe. I'm going to delete all the effects and try again. We might as well not adjust to the other frequencies. That's good how it is. Okay, uh, that's a quite good transition, I'd say. Now we can have it, uh, go to half tempo. Now we might as well change the pitch a bunch. Let's go into like C7 now. Sure, sure why not. Uh, that might sound too silly. Sure, C6 should be fine. Diversify and put some other types of kicks. I guess. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to see if there's a good one that was used. Where was this one ever used? If at all. Well, I'll just make a new one. Why not just have some random noise in there? That's always fun. 
Uh, then this is why you named your threats. Maybe ten is what I'm looking for. Then let's do some normal ones. Oh yeah, I forgot. We sort of need a melody at this point. I'll have it come back in eventually. Everything's aligned. Sure, why not? I'll have a BPM change here. Let's change that to like three hundred thirty three. Uh, 334, that, that'll be good. Uh. Yeah, perfect. Uh. So now, let's just do the, um, Yeah, we're gonna have it do a bunch of spammy terror core kits for a couple measures, and then we're going to use the harmonicized ones for it. So, let's just set it 334 uh, BPM so we can tell what it will sound like. Uh, why is this not moving? I'm just gonna close up all this stuff that isn't used right now. part we want to use. Probably that. Uh, how to... Ah. Okay, I'm going to save this and try reopening it. able to maximize it there. Okay, that works how we want it. Oh yes, terror core. Uh, let's see if Nye is close. Not quite. I'll just make a new one. Why not? You can never have too many audio tracks. Oh, and uh, we want this at 334 beats per minute. Yeah, I'll do something very fun and just make it slowly transition to something more normal. This is what the people want to hear.
looks like we made a border error, but that's fine. we can uh, use the other thing. do a two measure pattern this time. This sort of sounds off. the melody can come back at that point. Let's just copy and paste. And let's do the perfect fit thing. This is all music production really is, copying and pasting. Now let's switch to the least of the distorted kicks, and then we can do a Brand new melody. That should be good. The overused. And we might as well use a different instrument this time. <laughs> Let's use the Game Boy thing. And let's... Let's do... Another C major thing in the highest octave, well, second highest. Never mind, we're not doing this instrument. Let's try the organ synthesizer. Uh, also, I don't currently have a MIDI keyboard, I'm just using a normal keyboard. We might as well, let's randomize this, and let's fully distort it. That's actually quite nice. The 
this could be good for some drone music, which is perhaps good for another tutorial. This is hardly a tutorial. This is me composing for like an hour while recording. I'm actually going to do a low octave. I think you can tell the sort of thing I'm doing, just some basic messing around with varying lengths. I'm actually going to switch to a pentatonic scale for this uh, measure, which is just the black notes, because why not? Which are all the things that are out of key for C major. I'll actually do it for two measures. I'll do another basic increment with a major 7th, I guess, or a perfect fit. Rather a decrement. Even though it's off key, I'm going to keep it. Uh, and, oh yes, I'll do some gent style, uh, going between two notes in a low octave. That should be good. Uh, and then I'll just do another few measures, by which I mean eight measures, which is just going to be that.
just do random stuff for the last, but no overlap. Also, I'll make those all uh, one sixteenth. So it's as though we're shredding the guitar or something. this section sound. copy this melody again, and I'll do a highly skilled fade out, because we might as well end it, even though it's probably only 30 seconds long. So, here I will make an amplify effect. We can create an automation track. probably long enough. And then volume can be put here. That can go straight, well, diagonally down. And let's copy it for that duration. Actually, gonna fix that, make it go a bit longer, and just for the fun of it, I'll actually add percussion other than kicks in the last two measures. Uh, I actually don't think. There will be any symbols or crashes in these default uh, samples. So I might have to do a few pathetic open hats. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll finish it with one of those. Well, anyway, this uh, video is much longer than I anticipated to be, but I will now play the full track. I hope this was enjoyable, and if you've watched it for this far, congratulations. <laughs>